Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptic Knowledge. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about merging and padding. I will make this tutorial for merging and padding really simple so that you can understand it really easily. So first of all, here you can see that in the body we have the H2 tag and a paragraph tag over here and this is the end result. So for showing you merging and padding, first of all, I am going to keep this paragraph tag inside a div. So let me just write a div over here and this div will in after this p tag so right now uh, we are going to mention a class for this div so let's say our here class it will be box first of all we are going to make a box for this paragraph we'll make it a make the box a color okay so here for this uh, class box we are going to write some css so here you can see the head tag so inside this head tag we are going to say style and inside this style we'll give dot why dot because we are going to mention this class box so we'll say dot box then we'll give to second bracket and here we will mention the width for this div okay so here we are going to say width it will be uh, 40 percent so right now if we save it then if we refresh here you can see it took the total skin our total skins 40 percent so this is the width so we are going to make a background color for it so we'll say here background color it will be sky blue save then refresh and there you can see we have the background color which width is also 40 percent so let's just first uh, talk about padding so if we write okay let me just show you if we just write over here padding if we just give 50 px then what it will do is that here you can see we have a box of sky blue color and for padding 50 px uh, so what it will do is that it will create some gap at the top at the left at the bottom and at the right for the text let me just save it and refresh here and here you can see it creates some gap at the top left bottom and the right everywhere it create 50 px gap and this is happening inside the box not outside the box okay only inside this box okay inside this box means uh, only it will happen for this div uh, inside the box not outside okay so we have the text and it will create 50 px gap for inside this div so right now let's say you only on the gap to be at the left side for it what you can do is that all you have to do is just you have to say over here padding left 50 px save refresh and there you can see there is only gap on the left side and if you say over here padding say bottom 10 px it will only create gap on the bottom let's refresh and there you can see so the same way you can do the padding top and the padding right as well let me just show you that as well let's say padding top 30 px and padding right let's make it 50 uh, 50 px save then refresh and there you can see so let's make it a little bit easier uh, because we have to write uh, this four times so let's make it easier let's just keep the padding and this clone sign and here right now if we say 50 px it will create 50 px gap everywhere but if we write another value let's say 10 px save it and refresh here you can see it created 50 px gap at the top and the bottom and 10 px gap on the right and the left side but what if you give the third value let's give it 50 sorry 80 px save and refresh if we refresh right now what you will see is that it created 50 px gap at the top 10 px gap on the left and the right and 80 px gap on the bottom let me just refresh and there you can see 50 px at the top 80 px at the bottom and 10 px both left and right and right now if we give let's say 100 px what it will do it will actually work as a uh, like arch like a arch like this it will move like this okay so 50 px at the top 10 px on the right side 80 px on the bottom and 
100 px on the left side so it works like a clock if we refresh right now there you can see there is more gap on the left side so this was padding so right now we are going to talk about margin okay let's save it let's just make everywhere 50 px for padding and refresh there you go now let's talk about margin margin is the same as padding but it will work outside the box so if we see over here margin let's say 50 px what it will do is that it will get some gap over here over here 50 px 50 px 50 px everywhere 50 px if we refresh now there you can see the box move to this direction so the same way we can write margin left 50 px then margin top let's say top we can say like 90 px say refresh and there you can see it move a little bit from the top and from the left it's still 50 px if we write 150 px it will move a little bit more let's keep it 80 px not 800 80 px and if we write now right margin right 40 px save it and refresh there you can see it did not move because there is already a lot of gap on the right side and if we write margin bottom you will not see any changes because there is already a lot of gap on the bottom let me just show you if we see over here margin bottom 50 px it will not change anything because there is already a lot of gap if we refresh there you can see it didn't change but if we inspect you'll be able to see that let me just make it bigger so we'll just right click over here then click inspect and here if we take our uh, cursor to the div over here you can see that there are some red sign i mean the yellow is sign kind of right the yellow sign over here if we just let me just remove the margin bottom from here save it then let me refresh here and here you can see the yellow sign from the bottom is gone and if we uh, remove the margin left save it then refresh over here you will see that notice that the yellow sign from the left side is gone okay so actually if you even if you are not able to uh, see any changes for the margin top bottom margin left or margin left or margin bottom it's still there okay so right now let's uh, let me just show you the simplest way to writing margin that is we'll just say over here margin it actually works just like padding clockwise we'll say over here 50 px then we'll say this will work for the top then we'll say 100 px this will work for the left and right if we refresh and there you can see and, and the third one if you give the third one let's say 300 px it will work for the uh, uh, bottom so this 50 px will work for the work for the top and this 100 px will work for the both left and right i mean right and left and this 300 px will work for the bottom refresh and there you can see there is no changes but the margin gap is still there if we just give on more let's say 400 px so right now it will work as clockwise right so 50 for the top 100 for the right side 300 for the bottom and 400 from the for the left side refresh and there you can see it moved because this is margin left so yeah this is all for this tutorial this is, this is all about margin and padding i tried my best to make it as simple as possible i hope you understand but if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section i would be happy to reply and thanks again for watching i would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.